Kayla Bullfinger alongside my colleague Evan Patrick here back at the Bryce Jordan Center after a little bit of an extended absence and Penn State needed that absence tonight. They faced a very game Indiana team coming off of a close loss to Maryland and for the first half it looked like things were going to be about as close as Penn State's last meeting against Indiana at the Bryce Jordan Center in which the Hoosiers won 64-62 last season. But this time around Penn State used a dominant second half run to take down the Hoosiers and improved to 5-4 in the conference for their third straight win. Now Lamar Stevens led all scorers with 17 points tonight but it wasn't exactly a vintage offensive performance from the senior. Instead Penn State got a bunch of contributions from up and down its lineup, particularly the bench. Yeah, the bench play was huge tonight for Penn State on offense specifically. Curtis Jones coming in. I mean, he's been that spark plug guy over this nice little three-game win streak now that Penn State has. He came in, delivered 10 first-half points when Penn State really needed it. They were in a shooting slump. Their defense was playing really well, but he came in, gave them those 10 first-half points, kept the game tied going into the half, and then really from there on out, it was just a combined effort from the whole rest of the team because not one individual is really taking over like we've seen Lamar Stevens or Myron Jones do in the past. I mean, this Penn State team doesn't have a single player that's averaging over four assists per game, but they still rank top five in the Big Ten in total assists. So that really shows you the well-roundedness that they have on offense. And so even with the offense getting a lot of contributions tonight, though, the defense was the story for how they got this win. Yeah. And Pat Chambers, who does preach, you know, ball movement and assists and, and that, you know, stat you just brought up, is, is a guy that hangs his hat on defense and his teams hang their hat on defense. And tonight, Penn State got it done in the second half on defense. Outside of a couple of late Indiana buckets and garbage time, it didn't really matter. Uh, the Navy Lions held the Hoosiers to just 17 points in the second half outside of that final minute. And for me, that was as dominant of a defensive performance as Penn State's had all year. And it really followed up performance at the Bryce Jordan Center against Ohio State you know, a week and a half ago that was you know, nearly as dominant in that first half. That'll do it for our coverage of the Bryce Jordan Center night. Penn State will head to Lincoln, Nebraska to take on the Cornhuskers on Saturday. Big test for the Nittany Lions, a chance to pick up a big road win and improve to 6-4 and four in the league. Until then, make sure to follow us on social media and at collegian.psu.edu for continuing coverage throughout the week.